हेलो व्हाट एक्चुअली वर्किंग कैपिटल इज अगर आप uh, इसको हम लेमैन लैंग्वेज uh, में अगर मैं आपको समझाना चाहूं तो विद इन थ्री टू फोर मिनट्स में मैं आपको समझा दूंगा Uh, क्योंकि आई डोंट नो अगर जो साइंस बैकग्राउंड के होंगे उनको uh, नहीं समझ uh, वो नहीं मालूम होगा क्योंकि अगर मैं डायरेक्टली वो कॉन्सेप्ट सब में जाऊंगा तो मैं विद इन थ्री टू फोर मिनट्स में पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट समझा देता हूँ ये है क्या चीज वर्क uh, अगर मैं वर्किंग कैपिटल तो ये ये है क्या चीज मतलब कै, जो कैपिटल है जो डे टू डे वर्किंग में यूज होता है और उस, उसे उसे फाइंड आउट मतलब कि किस तरह से किया जाता है कि जो हमारे फिक्स्ड एसेट्स हैं और करंट जो फिक्स्ड लाइबिलिटीज है उसको हम अगर अपने बैलेंस शीट से अलग कर देते हैं तो जो ये जो करंट एसेट्स और करंट लाइबिलिटीज में जो डिफरेंस आता है उसे हम वर्किंग कैपिटल कहते हैं तो अगर हम इसको अकाउंटिंग टर्म में कहें कि तो इट इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन करंट एसेट्स एंड करंट लाइबिलिटीज एंड इफ वी ब्रेक द कंपोनेंट ऑफ वर्किंग कैपिटल वी फाउंड दिस वर्किंग कैपिटल विल बी लाइक दिस दैट वर्किंग कैपिटल इक्वल टू करंट एसेट्स माइनस माइनस करंट लाइबिलिटीज एंड दिस करंट एसेट इट इज इट इज यू कैन क्लासिफाइड इट इन टू दैट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रियलाइज और इंटेंट टू बी सोल्ड और यू कैन से कंज्यूम और यू कैन से नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल ऑफ द एंटिटी और यू विल से दैट द असेट्स इज हेल्ड प्रिलिमरी फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ट्रेडिंग एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रियलाइज विद इन ट्वेल्व मंथस Uh, after uh, the reporting period or you can say it is a uh, non restricted cash or uh, or cash equivalent and uh, generally this uh, uh, this current assets of the entity uh, for the purpose of the current uh, working capital management can be grouped into the uh, different uh, heads you uh, what i will say that uh, it can come under inventory which uh, include raw material work in progress uh, finished good Uh, it uh, in, uh, it uh, comes under you can say receivable that uh, trade receivable will be there bill receivable will be there uh, uh, another head is that cash or cash equivalent that is uh, you can say short term ma uh, market uh, well, securities is there and uh, prepaid uh, expenses will be there next is current liability <laughs> that uh, it is uh, current liability is classified as a current when you you will say that uh, it is expected to be settled in the normal operating cycle of the entity or, and or the uh, the liability is held primarily you can the for uh, for the purpose of trading you, uh, uh, or reporting period uh generally this current liabilities uh, of an entity for the purpose of working capital management can be grouped uh, into the following head uh, that payable uh, you can say trade payable will be there bill receivable will be there outstanding payment will be there that is the you know, wages or salary with which are outstanding and in uh, general working capital management uh, is essentially you can say managing the current assets uh, over the uh, current liabilities and uh, management of working capital arises as a part of process of the management uh, it can be uh, you can say uh, I, if i will say working capital management uh, can be exp uh, explained uh, means i will I, if i will explain it in uh, it will be uh, i can see uh, from the two angle that is uh, on the basis of value and on the basis of time uh from the point of view of uh, value that uh, working capital can be uh, defined as a gross uh, working capital and uh, net uh, working capital and uh, this uh, gross capital uh, uh, working capital uh, it refers to the firm uh, investment in the current assets and net working uh, capital refers to the uh, difference uh, between the uh, current assets and current liabilities Uh, a, a positive uh, working capital indicates the company's ability to pay in its short term liabilities on the other hand a negative capital uh, uh, shows inability, uh, inability uh, of an entity uh, to meet the short term liabilities 
and if we see from point of view of time the, this working capital can be divided into two categories uh, uh, which, uh, that is one permanent and uh, another is fluctuating uh, if i say fluctuating uh, it is temporary and uh, the per, uh, what permanent working capital uh, refers uh, to the base of the working capital which is uh, you can say minimum level of investment in the current assets uh, that is carried uh, by the entity at all times to carry its day-to-day -day activities. And uh, this temporary uh, working capital uh, which uh, or uh, fluctuating working capital refers to the uh, part of total working capital which is uh, required by the entity in addition to the permanent working capital you can say it is. Uh, also called variable work, working capital, uh, which is used to finance the short-term uh, working capital. Uh, if uh, uh, I'll say that uh, this management means how it is significant, uh, how it is important uh, for the company, uh, if it is having adequate working capital. Uh, it is the actually, uh, if I say it is essential uh, task of a finance manager. He has to ensure the, uh, that the amount of working capital uh, should be available. Uh, uh, it should be neither uh, too large uh, amount should be there or too small amount should be there. Uh, it uh, it should uh, the amount should be only that much that. Uh, uh, the work, uh, the work of the cap, uh, uh, company uh, should not stop. Uh, uh, if a large amount of working capital uh, will be there, that it, it means that company has ideal funds laying in, in their account. And since the uh, funds have the cost, and the company has to pay the huge amount of interest there, uh, uh, for the for, for the those type of funds. Uh, if uh, a firm has inadequate uh, bills. Uh, smaller uh, working capital then uh, yeah, such firms uh, run a uh, risk of inso uh, in, uh, insolvency and uh, maybe uh, working capital may lead to a situation where uh, may not be able to meet its liabilities um, many uh, uh, studies have been conducted uh, regarding this uh, this uh, poor performance of uh, public sector undertaking in our country has been a large amount of fund may uh, either locked up uh, in uh, working capital or uh, inadequate working capital is there and uh, if a large amount of uh, capital is ad, uh, working capital is uh, locked up then uh, it results over capitalization and over capitalization uh, implies that uh, company has too large funds for its requirement and resulting in uh, a, a, a low uh, rate of return, uh, if I'll, you will find that a situation which implies a less than optimal use of resource. And as a, uh, as a firm, therefore, uh, has to be careful, uh, very careful in estimating, uh, you can say, its working capital requirement. And maintaining uh, adequate working capital is just uh, not a, important but uh, in the short term and sufficient uh, liquidity must uh, be maintained uh, in order to ensure the survival of the business in the long term as well. And when uh, business make uh, uh, investment uh, decisions, they must uh, not only uh, consider uh, the financial outlay involved uh, with acquiring, uh, you can say, new machines or uh, the uh, new, uh, new buildings extra, but most also take accounts of the additional, uh, you can say, uh, additional, uh, you can say, uh, current assets that usually you can say required uh, for any ex expenses of activities, uh, like uh, increase in production leads to holding uh, uh, of additional stocks of raw materials or WIB that is work in progress. And uh, second, uh, second, if I'll give you that uh, some uh, example that uh, it can increase the sale usually means uh, that the level of traders uh, will uh, decrease. And uh, one more example, we can uh, put that uh, a general increase in the firm scale of operation tends to imply uh, needs to be greater level of working capital. Uh, 
if a company is current assets do not exceed its current liabilities then it may uh, run into trouble uh, with the creditors that uh, want uh, the money quickly and current ratio uh, you, uh, i will say that current ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities along with the uh, asset test ratio to supplements uh, it uh, has traditionally be considered uh, the best indicator of the working situ capital situation and it should be understood uh, that the current uh, ratio of uh, two for the manufacturing company implies that uh, the firm has a optimum uh, amount you can say uh, of working capital that uh, uh, that uh, it is uh, you can say consider that there, there is a comfortable liquidity position if liquid uh, our current assets are equal to the current liabilities uh, but, uh, uh, the bankers here financial institutions financial analysts investors and other people are, are interested in the financial statements uh, which they have for the years they consider the current ratio uh, at the uh, two and uh, the, uh, even they uh, they are having the asset test ratio uh, as one uh, as an indicator for the good capital ratio situation it, it is a uh, thumb rule but uh, mo uh, most of the companies if you will calculate it it, it doesn't come like that and uh, it should be remembered that optimal uh, working capital can be determined only with reference to the particular uh, circumstances of the specific situation and thus the company where the inventories are easily saleable and the sundry debtors are uh, you can say as good uh, as liquid cash and this current ratio may be uh, lower than two than the firm uh, yet though you, though you can say uh, firm uh, may be sound if i in uh, in brief, if I'll uh, explain that firm should have adequate uh, uh, working capital to run its business operation, both excessive as well as inadequate uh, working capital position, uh, which which are very dangerous. Uh, how to that uh, means uh, what this working capital management, if I'll say, uh, is concerned with uh, maintaining adequate uh, working capital, that is management of the level of uh, individual current assets and uh, current liabilities and uh, the financing uh, financing of the working capital uh, if uh, if if suppose if, uh, finance manager needs to plan uh, and compute the working capital requirement for its business and once the requirement has to be computed he needs uh, to ensure that uh, it is for financed properly and the whole exercise uh, is nothing but uh, working capital uh sound financial uh, you can say and strate uh, statistical uh, support or uh, technique support uh, supported by the judgment uh, would be used to predict uh, you can say uh, the quantum of working capital at the different times and some of the fact uh, factors which needs to be considered <coughs> while uh, planning for uh, working capital requirement this uh, you you should know that cash that can be identified uh, uh, the uh, balance which allows the business to meet day to day expense <clears throat> but reduce the cash holding cost uh, you should identify the level of inventory which allow uh, for uninterrupted production uh, but uh, reduce the uh, investment of uh, in raw materials and hence increase the cash flow and that a technique uh, like uh, just in time and e eoq economic order quantity are used maybe you must have remembered that uh, these two uh, we, uh, we have re uh, uh, studied uh, and uh, how to control the inventory uh, we have studied uh, in uh, in the course uh, ma uh, machine and uh, inventory uh, material and machine uh, mmpc uh, 009 uh, uh, you have to identify the appropriate uh, credit policy. Uh, if I will say that is uh, in credit terms, which will attract uh, customers such that uh, any impact on cash flow uh, and uh, the cash conversion cycle uh, will be offset by increased uh, revenue and hence uh, return on capital. Uh, the tools like discounts and allowance are used for this. 
uh, inventory is ideally you can say financed by credit uh, granted by the supplier and uh, it is a uh, if i'll say uh, dependent on the cash conversion uh, cycle and uh, it may uh, however you can say be necessary uh, to utilize a bank loan uh, you can say overdraft or uh, to convert the debtors to cash uh, through factoring in order to uh, finance the working capital requirement. Uh, let me give you the example that in a uh, business of a uh, restaurant, uh, you will find that most of the sales are in cash. Therefore, uh, need for the working capital is very less. And uh, if I'll give you another example that if an item demands for accident uh, exceeds the production, that uh, working capital requirement would be less as investments in uh, finished goods inventory uh, would be less. Uh, one more example I would like to put uh, here that in some business, uh, the demands for the goods are seasonal. Uh, like uh, umbrella or uh, means a raincoat in the rainy season. In that case, uh, business may follow the policy uh, for a steady, uh, a steady production over, out, uh, over the whole year. Or uh, you can say instead of uh, maybe choose the uh, policy of production uh, only during the demand season. And a company can uh, reduce the working capital requirement by eliminating uh, this, wa uh, this waste, improving coordination. Uh, let me give you uh, again one more example that rising price necessities, you, uh, necessitate, you can say, uh, the use of more fund and uh, uh, for maintaining the existing level of activity. For the uh, same level, uh, level of this current assets ca uh, cash, outlays are required. Uh, therefore, the effect of rising price is that a higher amount of working capital required. Uh, what we, we, uh, we will do, the, 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 uh, not we will do that, uh, uh, Till now, what we have discussed that uh, about the uh, working capital and uh, regarding that, how you be able to, how we are going to, uh, how this management of working capital work. Uh, this now I'm going to discuss this. This, uh, uh, if I say that working capital of an entity can be termed uh, as uh, you can say, let me give you the example again, that uh, lifeblood, if an, uh, if an entity is compared, with a, a living body, that lubricant, uh, you can say fuel, if the entity is compared with the engine, uh, working capital is required for a smooth functioning of your business. You uh, of an uh, entity as a lack of, uh, may, a lack, you can say, a lack of this may interrupt by uh, the ordinary, uh, you can say, management, uh, or ordinary, you can say, activity, or uh, hence this, uh, Capital uh, working capital needs adequate attention uh, and efficient management. And when we talk about the management, uh, it it, it, it revolves on the these three E's. What is the three E's? That economy, uh, uh, efficiency, and effectiveness. And all these three are required for the working capital. The scope uh, for capital management can be grouped in a broad two areas, that is prof uh, profitability and liquidity. And second is investment and financing thesis. Uh, for uninterrupted and smooth functioning of the day-to-day -day business of an entity, it is important to maintain the liquidity of funds evenly. Uh, as we have already uh, discu uh, discussed uh, just now, uh, that each rupees of capital bears uh, some cost and some uh, while maintaining that liquidity of cost aspects needs to be borne in the mind. Unnecessary typing up uh, funds uh, can uh, bet you can say a better return uh, for the pro productive uh, assets. Uh, hence that uh, a trade-off uh, is required between the liquidity and uh, profitability which increases and the profit profitability uh, without disturbing the day-to-day -day function. This requires three E's and uh, discuss the above. That is economic in financing, efficiency of ut uh, utilization and effective in 
achieving uh, the intended objective. If I say the the component of uh, uh, take uh, this uh, different component uh, of working capital. If we take inventory, that uh, fewer stocks out uh, increase the profitability will be there, and uh, the trade off that uh, pro uh, between profitability and liquidity. Uh, you have to uh, use techniques like uh, EOQ, JIT, and to carry an optimum uh, level of inventory. Uh, the advantages uh, will be the, at lower side, that liquidity uh, is there. That is the lower inventory uh, requires less capital, uh, but endangered the stock of uh, loss of goodwill. Uh, second point was that investment and financing. In uh, in this working for a capital policy is uh, the function uh, you can say of two decisions. The first investment in working capital, and second uh, is uh, financing uh, of the investment. Uh, the investment in working capital is concerned with the level of investment. Uh, 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 this investment in working capital is concerned with the level of investment you can say in the current asset. Uh, it uh, gives means the the, uh, the uh, inner feeling will come uh, that how much and fun to be tied to achieve uh, the organization activities. That is the effectiveness of fund. Financing decision, you can say uh, it is concerned that uh, arrangement of funds uh, to finance uh, the working capital, it gives the answer uh, where from fund uh, to be sourced at a lower cost as possible. Uh, that is economic financing decision uh, will be there. And uh, how much to be invested in current assets as working capital is a matter of policy decision by the entity. Uh, it, it, will be, uh, it is there uh, in the investment of uh, working capital. And it has to be decided in, uh, you can say, uh, in the light of organizational objective, trade policies, uh, financial, uh, uh, and financial, you can say, cost benefit consideration. Uh, there is not any uh, set of rules uh, for deciding the level of investment in uh, working capital. Some organization, due to the uh, frequency, you can say, require uh, the investment and others. Uh, let me give you the example. Uh, and uh, infrastructure development, uh, you can say, a company requires more investment uh, in its working capital as there may be huge inventory in the form of uh, work in progress. On the other hand, a company which is engaged in fast food comparatively uh, require less, uh, less investment. Hence, the level of... <laughs> Uh, investment depends on the various factors. You can say that uh, construction of uh, companies or uh, beverage company require large investment in working capital uh, due to the uh, long question period. Uh, uh, and if uh, you will see that uh, different consumable, uh, consumer durable goods uh, has largely invent inventory as uh, compared to a uh, perishable uh, product. And uh, the third point will, will be there that manufacturing versus trading versus service, uh, the, which uh, a manufacturing entity has to maintain your, uh, the uh, three levels of inventory, uh, raw material, working progress, and the finished good. Whereas a trading and uh, a service entity has to maintain inventory only in form of uh, trading stock and consumable uh, re, uh, respectively, I would say. Uh, then volume of sale will be there where the, uh, the sales are high. There is responsibility of, uh, you can say, receivable will be there as well. And as an uh, entity whose credit policy is liberal, you can say, has not only a, a high level of receivable, requires more capital uh, to fund, uh, you can say, to fund uh, raw material purchases. Uh, approach of uh, working capital that based on the organizational uh, policy, uh, if I say, uh, 
the risk uh, return trade off work uh, that uh, working capital investment decision can be categorized in three approaches that is aggressive uh, conservative and moderate uh, in aggressive that uh, investment in working capital uh, is kept at a minimum minimal uh, investment in current assets which means that uh, entity does not hold level of inventory and follow a strict credit policy uh, keeps uh, less uh, cash balance the advantages of this approach is uh, that uh, lower value of uh, fund is tied in uh, working capital uh, you can say which results uh, in lower financial uh, cost uh, but the flip side uh, can, uh, could be you can say uh, that the organization could not uh, grow uh, with uh, with the, uh, which i will say lead uh, to the lower utilization of the fixed uh, assets uh, conservative uh, uh, approach, if I'll say that uh, in this approach, this organization uh, uses the uh, invest high capital uh, in current asset <coughs> organizations, uh, keep uh, uh, the inventory high uh, level higher. You can say follow le uh, lateral uh, liberal credit policy, uh, cash balance uh, as high as uh, you can say to meet uh, any current liabilities immediately. The advantages of this approach are a high, higher sale value volume, uh, increased uh, demand uh, demand due uh, to a, a liberal rate, uh, you can say, uh, and it increased the goodwill uh, among the suppliers due to the payment in short time. And the disadvantages are uh, in, uh, increase in cash of, uh, of the cost of capital. Uh, and higher risk of uh, bad debts, uh, shortage of liquidity uh, in long uh, longer run uh, to a longer operating cycle. In a moderate approach, uh, it is between the uh, uh, between those two above uh, approach. If I'll say uh, uh, aggressive and uh, conservative. Uh, under this approach, you will find that uh, a balance between the uh, risk is there and the return is maintained to gain more by using the funds in an efficient manner. Uh, what will happen this far? The financial manager has to uh, is required to determine the optimal level of uh, current assets uh, so that the uh, shareholder's value is maximized. And the firm's needs uh, to be uh, fixed uh, and uh, current assets to support a particular level of output. As a firm, uh, firm's output uh, and sales increases, the need for uh, for current uh, assets are uh, you can say also increases. And generally, uh, what will happen that uh, these current has, uh, assets do not increase in direct proportion to output. Current assets may uh, increase or at a decreasing rate uh, with the output. This is uh, this is my observation. You you will also find the same thing. And as the uh, output uh, increases, the firm starts using uh, current uh, current assets more efficiently. And the level of uh, current assets may be measured by creating the relationship between uh, these uh, current assets and fixed assets. Dividing the current assets uh, by fixed asset gives the uh, current uh, fixed assets ratio. And assuming a uh, constant level of uh, fixed asset, uh, a decreased level, uh, you can say a higher current, uh, current assets or uh, fixed assets in ratio indicate the conservative asset, uh, current assets policy. Uh, and a lower uh, assets or if fixed assets ratio may uh, you can say have the aggressive current uh, asset policy assuming all uh, you can say all uh, type uh, all type of uh, policies uh, I, uh, in next class, most probably, I will uh, come up with the uh, problems, uh, means calculative problems. Uh, in this class, I will uh, try to cover the uh, theoretical part. Uh, 
operate uh, this uh, how uh, how to estimate this working capital uh, needs that operating cycle is uh, if uh, is there that is uh, it is one of the post reliable method uh, computing the work uh, working capital however other methods like uh, ratio for sale uh, ratio or uh, you can say ratio of, of uh, fixed investment may also be used to determine the working capital requirement and these methods are briefly explained uh, if i will say uh, i will uh, this uh, to uh, uh, this uh, current assets holding period and to estimate this uh, capital uh, working capital uh, needs based on the average of holding period of uh, current assets and relating them to cost based uh, you can say on the company's uh, experience in the previous and the method is essentially based uh, on the operating uh, cycle concept and uh, the ratio uh, the next is that uh, ratio of sale that it uh, it is there as to, uh, to estimate the working capital needs as a ratio as of, of sales on the assumption of the current assets change uh, change with the uh, ch changes of in sales uh, ratio of fixed as, uh, investment uh, it is uh, there to estimate the working capital requirement as a percentage of fixed investment a number of factors you will find uh, that it uh, how, however what uh, but it will be impacting the choice of the method uh, of estimating working capital and factors such as uh, seasonal fluctuations, accurate sale for, uh, forecast is there, investment cost is there, variability uh, in sales price is there. It would be generally, uh, generally considered as per the, uh, the finance manager choice. And the production uh, cycle, uh, you can say uh, cycle and uh, credit, uh, and uh, you can say collect, uh, collection policies of the firm uh, will have an impact on working capital requirement. Therefore, they should uh, give uh, the due weightage in uh, projecting, uh, you can say, working capital. Uh, what is this uh, operating or working capital cycle? Well, for, uh, let me um, explain this first, first of all. Uh, a useful tool of managing uh, working capital in an uh, operating cycle, that's operating cycle, analyze the uh, account re uh, receivable uh, inventory and uh, you can say accounts payable cycle in uh, terms of uh, the days. Uh, how uh, how it goes? Uh, 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 let me give you some examples. Uh, this uh, uh, accounts receivable are analyzed by the average number of days you can say it takes uh, to collect the time. And uh, if I'll give you the another example, that inventory uh, is analyzed by the average number of days. It takes uh, to turn over the sales of the product. From uh, the points uh, it comes uh, in the store to the points uh, it converted, uh, you can say, to cash or, or an accounts receivable. And uh, the last is accounts payable are analyzed by, by the average number of days. Uh, how oh, it indicates, uh, you can say, the, the length of time between the companies paying for the material that entering the stocks, uh, you can say receiving, in, uh, receiving the cash from sales of fixed goods. It is determined by adding the number of days required for uh, each uh, stage in the, uh, in the cycle. Uh, let me give you one example that a company holds uh, raw material uh, on the average of 60 days. Uh, it gets a credit of uh, suppliers of 15 days. Uh, production, you, uh, let us take, it takes uh, 15 days. Uh, finished goods are held in uh, 30 days. If, uh, as I told you, that and uh, 30 days uh, credit is extended to the data. Uh, the total uh, of all these are 120 uh, days. That and that is uh, 60 minus uh, you can say 50, 15 plus 15 was there, and plus 30 plus 30 days. 
with our total working capital. Uh, most business, uh, you can say, cannot uh, finance the operating cycle. You can uh, that is account receivable days plus inventory days. It uh, with ac uh, accounts payable in financing alone. Uh, working capital financing is needed, uh, but shortfall is typically uh, it should be covered by the uh, net profit generated internally or by externally borrowing the funds or by the combination of the two. Uh, uh, a bus, uh, this uh, business, uh, you can say, expands uh, more, uh, more cash, it will be need uh, for the working capital and investment. And the cheap, cheapest, you can uh, say, and the best source of the cash exists as a working capital, right with the business. Uh, and goods management of the working capital will generate uh, uh, what is that? Uh, it will generate cash and uh, which will uh, help to improve the profit and reduce the risk. Uh, uh, this cost providing credit to the customer and holding the stocks can represent a uh, subsequent uh, uh, Portion of the firm's total profit. Uh, each component of uh, working capital, namely inventory, receivable, and uh, payables, has uh, two dimensions that is, time and money. Uh, when it comes to managing the working capital, uh, then time is money. And then, if you, you get this uh, money and move faster around the cycle, that uh, collect money is due to the uh, uh, data uh, more uh, quickly or uh, reduce the amount of uh, money uh, you can say tied up and uh, for example uh, reduce inventory levels <coughs> led to, to sale and uh, the business will generate uh, more cash or uh, it will uh, need to borrow less money uh, to fund the working capital and similarly what will happen that if you negotiate uh, improved item with the supplier then uh, uh, you will get uh, longer credit and uh, an increased credit limit and you are gen uh, effectively created uh, free uh, you can say finance to help the future sales and the determination of the operating cycle uh, if i say uh, helps uh, the uh, helps in the forecast you can say control and management of the working capital that length of the operating cycle is the indicator of the performance of the bank and that net, uh, net operating cycle represents uh, the time interval for you can say uh, for which uh, this uh, firm has to negotiate for working capital uh, management the duration of uh, this working capital cycle may be depending on the nature of the business you can say uh, in uh, in that form uh, the equation will come like this operating uh, cycle equal to uh, raw material shortage period plus working progress holding period plus finished goods storage period uh, plus uh, receivables that is a uh, collection period that is debtors minus uh, credit period allowed by the supplier uh, working capital, uh, if I say based on uh, operating cycle, then one of the method of for uh, forecasting that uh, working capital requirement is based on the concept of operating cycle and the calculation of uh, this uh, operating cycle and the formula for the estimating work, uh, working capital on its basis has demonstrated, uh, you can say, uh, with uh, the help of, uh, uh, you can say, uh, different uh, determinants. Uh, <clears throat> there are, uh, you can say, various constructs of uh, current assets are there, current liabilities are there, have to have a direct bearing of uh, computations of working capital and operating uh, operating cycles of it.
the holding uh, period of uh, various constraints so you can say of uh, current uh, assets and uh, current liability cycle may either contract to expand uh, the net operating uh, cycle period and shorter the uh, period of uh, cycle you can say uh, lower will be requirement of the work capital and vice versa uh, how to uh, est means what is the estimation of the current asset you uh, this now we are going to discuss uh, uh, the funds uh, to be invested in raw material inventory may uh, be estimated on the basis of uh, production bu uh, budget and estimated, uh, you can say, cost per uh, unit. Uh, you, you will say average holding period of raw material and inventory uh, <coughs> by using the form. Uh, there is a formula that is investment uh, estimated uh, production divided by 12 uh, months or you can uh, divide it by 365 days uh, you whichever you want to uh, calculate and i have into estimated uh, per uh, cost per unit and average raw material storage period uh, wip inventories are is also calculated as uh, for the uh, work in progress and finished goods also calculated like that receivable cost and uh, yeah, it is all are calculated and uh, sa same way uh, for estimating uh, current liabilities that trade payable has to, uh, to be calculated uh, direct wages has to be calculated overhead has to be calculated uh, uh, if uh, We are not, uh, uh, we, uh, I have covered most of the things uh, today, <coughs> for the today, and uh, next uh, we, uh, we will cover uh, practical problems uh, in the coming days. Uh, next class is also uh, mine, uh, I, have, I will cover the, that clause, class also. <coughs> Is there anything you want to ask from this paper? In working capital, let me, uh, I think uh, still uh, we are having time of uh, 13 minutes. Uh, let me tell you the uh, importance of adequacy and inadequacy of uh, working capital. Uh, here, uh, what financial uh, manager uh, need to understand how to develop uh, effective working capital uh, policies to ensure the growth of profitability and uh, long-term success, you can say, for the firm. And the need of working capital management will arise due to the you can say three uh, th about, uh, about three reasons uh, it, first is that uh, a major portion of our uh, time of business management is devoted on the issue related with the uh, working capital uh, for example uh, purchase of raw material uh, production facility storage dist uh, distribution uh you you can say uh take example also creator also any lack in management of uh you can say working capital may amount to collapse uh, of uh, total business management as a financial result uh, are ultimately uh, depend upon it and second uh, reason is that the working capital seeks frequent attention I will say uh, due to the high frequency of recording of uh, transactions. And third uh, is a uh, uh, third reason is that uh, current liabilities uh, serves, uh, you can say, as a major source of uh, short term external financial, especially uh, for a small companies, creditor payments and uh, payment periods, wages, salaries. Uh, are the important issues uh, to manage in order to maintain a smooth supply of raw materials and uh, stimulate uh, to run factory shop uh, in order uh, 
and uh, the extent of funds uh, to uh, to uh, working capital uh, uh, management is uh, you, uh, another critical issue is that excessive investment uh, in current uh, assets may diminish profitability or you can say lower the firm value and this short term uh, assets may uh, lower the uh, down the firm's profitability if these uh, are managed uh, in appropriately and the result into the increased uh, in opportunity cost. Thus, uh, this determining the firm's optimal uh, investment in uh, uh, working capital involves a trade-off uh, between the liquidity and uh, profitability. Uh, what is the importance? Uh, that importance is that inadequate, uh, is this adequate uh, working capital ensure uh, the liquidity position of the firm as well indicate the short term solvency positions the sufficient amount of uh, working capital ensures uh, regular uh, you can say uh, and timely payment to creditors and other short term uh, lenders uh, which increase the goodwill of the firm and timely payment uh, to uh, to creditors or uh, bankers enables uh, the firm to get a regular supply of goods and availability of uh, these short term loans as it also increases the credit worthiness uh, of the firm in uh, the record of the uh, banking institution uh, making payment to, uh, to, uh, of uh, ways you can say labor uh, if i'll say uh, on time and is uh, also crucial for the turnover uh, of uh, raw material into sales. Uh, there is a risk of uh, inadequate uh, working capital that uh, uh, risk uh, this accessing of uh, excessive uh, working capital in, is the cause of for the firm if among the inventories carry a higher amount of uh, then it indicates uh, either slow uh, sales turnover of the firm and having uh, obsolete uh, stock in its inventory you would say uh, this is uh, you can say uh, it shows uh, the long term fund uh, which otherwise would have been used in, in allocating that is long term assets or investment are uh, put on hold uh, thus uh, carrying an implied uh, cost on the business profitability and the immediate effect uh, may account low inventory high uh, cost of uh, you can say inventory storage uh, higher bad debts and sales uh, what factor affecting the this requirement of, that we have discussed uh, <clears throat> and the key aspects if i'll say not sell if i'll define that estimating the working capital wise of uh, you are considering uh, you can say substantial influencing <laughs> factors into account uh, uh, you can say uh, into the uh, making estimation and rising the source of working capital uh, management of individual current assets these are uh, these are the uh, uh, important key aspects and few approaches are there uh, which uh, you have to read yourself uh, that matching approach, conservative approach, aggressive approach, zero working capital approach. Now, uh, this is the end of the session of the, uh, this uh, uh, plus. Um, uh, in, uh, from two o'clock, uh, we will start uh, another class. Is there any question for? A uh, practical question we will take up in the next class.
just uh, two to three minutes. Uh, of, um, I'm taking uh, two to three minutes break, uh, and after that, I'll uh, uh, start the next class. Thank <laughs> you. 